Why are y'all sleeping on AI powered automations? Bro, like my channel members and I have been exploring different AI automations and these are unlike anything that you've ever seen before. The way that you can use AI to make yourself better, quote unquote, is kind of nuts. It's called the world of text and I don't know if you've heard of it before. How can I explain the premise? Imagine this, everything in life that you do basically generates text in some form or fashion. You go and browse YouTube, you have a search history, that's text. You drive to work, your location and the duration, text. You go to Panda Express, you have a transaction history, that's shame. You flip a light switch, your energy consumption, text. Either way, everything that you do generates text. And it's that text that you can use to make yourself better. Listen, listen, come with me, come with me. Okay, so I know it doesn't seem like much, but the very words you speak has impact and it builds this world of text. And AI can use all of that to deepen your relationships. It can help you be more productive at work. It has the ability to make you a better version of you. And it sounds crazy. Like I know it sounds crazy, but believe me, it works. I've been experimenting with several automations that no one really talks about that does just that, that can help you to be a better version of you. And in the next three videos, I'm gonna show you what they do and how it works. But first, in this video, I'm gonna show you what the world of text is. And to keep you in, I have two automations that may pique your interest. Let's get started. called a world of text <laughs> and it's a concept that I'm really adopting now. Thank you to Daniel Meisler. Go ahead and tell him Daniel about this world of text. 20 years ago, I got into this guy named David Allen who basically said, never ever store anything in your brain, immediately capture. What I do now is I capture a concept or a structure for an essay or something. I capture it immediately in a note. And now that it's text and because I'm fairly proficient with Vim and the terminal, my whole world is text and the ability to manipulate text. And I have all my notes in text. And when I record something that's actually sound, I immediately transcribe it, send it to Notion. And so it's also in text. So now I have this world of text that I could use. And now I have this AI infrastructure that manipulates text using AI to get results that help us as humans. One of the things that I wanted to explore was with AI, how can it be used within a smart home in meaningful ways? So how can it be used to help clean your house and get tasks done? How can it be used to help you with your finances? How can it be used to help you make you a better version of yourself? And then when I heard about the world of text, that last portion became all the more exciting. Manipulates text using AI to get results that help us as humans. What becomes harder to do as you get into your 30s. And one thing he said was, the older you get, the harder it is to maintain strong relationships with your friends in particular. Because everyone's life get, gets busy, people get married, people have kids, you maybe move to different countries, it's hard to see people. And he said that there's one habit that he's been doing for over a decade that's been incredibly helpful, and that is using a personal CRM. Like, I'm gonna keep it 100. I forget, like I talk to my friends quite often, but even from week to week when people say, hey, what did you do last weekend? I don't remember, I, I just don't. So to have AI to say, hey, look, I'm about to call my mom. What did we last talk about? And it tell me, for me to talk to my friend and it let me know like, hey, this is the last thing that was going on in their life. Like this is, this, this means something. Oh, oh man, it actually worked. Oh my God, it actually worked. Okay, so for the past three days, I've been working on an aspect of the world of text. Here's a concept. I have friends that I talk to on like a semi-regular basis. We would have conversations, I'd say three, four months later, and we do a big catch up talk for about an hour and a half or so. And having something like a personal life assistant that can basically take that conversation, transcribe it, tell me, hey, these are the key highlights that you've talked about. And now that you're gonna have another conversation with them, here's the things that you should remember that you can bring up or you can pick up where you last left off. Here's how this works. I have this Notion database 
that keeps track of all of the conversations that I have. Now, the way I get the conversations into here is using my phone. And we kind of went over this a bit before in a previous video where I was able to use my smartphone to uh, send commands to my smart home. So what would show up, and here is a previous working version of it, what would show up is something like this, where I have a test file, I have it transcribed. This here, that little piece there, that's the audio that came from my phone. I can play it here within Notion, but I have a process that's transcribed it. So this is a test, blah, 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 blah. And then from that transcribed piece, I have uh, ChatGPT summarize it. It gives a one sentence summary. It gives out some main points. It gives out some takeaways. What you saw there was my attempt at creating a personal CRM powered by my smart home. And, and maybe saying powered by my smart home is a bit of a misnomer. It more likes works with my smart home. Some of you or a lot of you may be familiar with Home Assistant. And this is a step beyond that, where instead of Home Assistant, you have Life Assistant, something that can help you with more than just your home. It helps you with life. Now, that clip you just saw was from an archive within our channel member group. I'm not the only one trying to explore this world of text. There's another member within a group that has taken his interpretation and created his version of what a world of text would look like, what that system would look like in tandem with your smart home. I'll let him tell you about it. Hey, Michael. Thanks for, uh, for your reaction. Very cool. The world of text for me is a method to store anything that I have in my mind. I guess that you might know that every simple soul can only hold, let's say, up to seven active ideas or things in their mind. A new item one comes in, old item seven drops off the list. I might think of an idea on the road somewhere else and want to add uh, more to it, but don't have the capacity at that point, don't have the uh, availability or don't even know where to start. Just being able to kickstart that that concept, that idea, that project into a little text element and then store it for later. Doesn't mean that I need to act on it. Doesn't mean I need to keep track of it. Does it? It's just there and it can be there forever. And that's the good thing because beyond storing these individual thoughts, I also want to uh, have the potential to go further and do referencing between them. Now, what Hank Jen created was a project called Freeze Flix, and in it, it basically models his idea of a world of text. His implementation lets you store text to do's or any idea. So as it's stored, AI would enrich it with extra information and make it actionable so that way you can do something with it either now or in the future. In his repo, he outlines how you can use Proxmox, Node-RED, MongoDB, Todoist, and, and a few other technologies in order to get this running. A little further into the video, I'll show you an automation that I created that kind of leverages the concepts. And as cool as this project is, there are some other things that he would like to do to make it even better. So future enhancements would definitely be that I can recall things from the database or uh, trigger from, for instance, Todoist. So, you know, add context to a Todoist task that I put under the project and then that gets sent across to OpenAI and then it calls the database to add more context over there and the things that I've added in. So eventually I wanted to have a system that can continuously update, monitor itself across all of the things. The database will eventually be as smart that it understands that that idea from three years ago has relevance to the idea that I just dropped. And therefore I can start combining all of that together into a single thing. The phrase world of text may seem like just another buzzword for something that already exists. It's not like writing is something new or calendars. Okay, when is the release of the new product from Akara? According to your calendar, the embargo lifts October 3rd. But the more responsibilities we have, the more we must write, speak, plan, track, and, and then to keep it all together, our to-do list grows longer and more chaotic as we incoherently dump our thoughts into it before we forget, hoping that we will make sense of it later if we look at it later. Remind me tomorrow to create a thumbnail and title for the Notion transcription video. But in the world of text, context is always available. 
And it's this context that can make our incoherent thoughts crystal clear. It's not just storing data, storing thoughts. It's not just, you know, making to-do lists. It's the life assistant. Having the ability to just say, hey, here's a thought I want to invest you know, some extra cash into something for long term and then eventually actually doing it. Let me blow your mind. As a YouTuber, I get a lot of comments from you guys. Oftentimes those comments spark new ideas for me. And it's a process that I have to go through where when I'm reading the comments, I'm like, oh, this is a good idea. Then I have to write it down. Two different comments may come at two different points in time and I won't remember. So if I have a way to kind of categorize all of these ideas and to kind of coalesce them into one, to even ask my smart home, hey, I'm looking now for some new ideas. What do you have for me? And it be able to reference those previous ideas and tell me something about it. Imagine now if you are a business person or not even a business person. Imagine for some of you who have jobs where you have a lot of meetings or you need to dictate and write a lot of things down. What would it mean if you had a system that can now take your notes and then make it more actionable to say that this is all the stuff that happened within this meeting. Here are the key takeaways. Here are the things that you need to do next. Let me take it one step further. What if you never had to write notes again? And remember earlier on with that clip of Ali Abdal mentioning having like a personal CRM? What if that is possible? What if you could create that and have that work in tandem with your smart home? What if you never physically had to write another note? What if you just watched these next videos to see how?